Have you ever wondered why you do the things you do? Why do certain thoughts, desires, and impulses seem to arise out of nowhere? Welcome to a journey that will take you deep into the labyrinth of your own mind, where the mysteries of the human psyche will be unveiled. In today's video, we're about to embark on a captivating exploration into one of the most influential theories in psychology. Sigmund Freud's, often referred to as the father of psychoanalysis, groundbreaking theory of the id, ego, and superego. Prepare to be astonished as we unlock the secrets of your unconscious mind. Picture your mind as an iceberg, with the tip visible above the water representing your conscious thoughts. What lies beneath, hidden in the depths, is the realm of the unconscious, where Freud believed our true motivations and desires reside. This theory, like a key, can unlock the hidden chambers of your mind and reveal the complex interplay between your instinctual drives, your conscious awareness, and the moral compass that guides you. As we dive into this fascinating journey, you'll gain profound insights into your own behavior, decision-making, and the forces that shape your personality. Whether you're a psychology enthusiast or simply curious about the workings of the human mind, this video promises to be an eye-opening experience. So fasten your seatbelts, and let's begin our voyage into the depths of your unconscious, where the id, ego, and superego hold sway over your every thought and action. Sigmund Freud proposed a model that divided the mind into three distinct regions, the id, the ego, and the superego. These three components work together, often in conflict, to shape our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. At the very core of Freud's model lies the id, this is the primal, instinctual part of our mind, driven by our most basic desires and needs. The id operates on the pleasure principle, seeking immediate gratification for our urges, regardless of consequences. Picture it as the impulsive, uninhibited child within you. Think about the last time you craved a piece of chocolate, even when you knew you shouldn't indulge. That intense desire originates from your id which is constantly pushing for satisfaction without considering long-term consequences like weight gain or health issues. The id doesn't care about societal norms, ethics, or morality. It's the part of your mind that seeks pleasure, avoids pain, and doesn't understand the concept of delayed gratification. It's important to note that while the id may be seen as selfish or even reckless, it's a fundamental part of our psychological makeup, influencing our actions and decisions more than we might realize. Understanding the ID can help us make sense of our impulsive actions and desires. It's the reason we sometimes do things on a whim, even when it goes against our better judgment. By recognizing the role of the id in our lives, we gain insight into our own behavior and can learn to make more informed choices. In Freud's model, the ego emerges as the conscious, rational part of our mind. It acts as a mediator between the demanding desires of the id and the moral constraints of the superego. Think of it as the middle ground, the diplomat, in the ongoing conflict for control within your mind. The ego operates on the reality principle, striving to satisfy the ID's desires in a way that's realistic and socially acceptable. It considers the consequences of actions and strives to achieve a balance between the immediate gratification sought by the id and the long-term consequences recognized by the superego. Consider a scenario where you're feeling hungry but are in the middle of an important meeting. The ego steps in, assessing the situation and weighing your desire for food against the need to maintain professionalism and adhere to social norms. It might guide you to wait patiently until the meeting ends, at which point you can satisfy your hunger without disrupting the proceedings. Understanding the ego can help us comprehend how we navigate the complexities of daily life. It plays a crucial role in decision-making, self-control, and social interactions. Recognizing the ego's efforts to harmonize our desires and societal expectations empowers us to make more conscious choices and maintain a sense of balance. Then comes the superego. Imagine it as the strict moral authority within your mind. It embodies societal and ethical norms, serving as a guardian of what's right and wrong. If the id represents our primal desires and the ego balances them with practicality, the superego represents our conscience— Superego develops throughout childhood as we internalize values, beliefs, and rules from our parents, caregivers, and society. It constantly evaluates our thoughts, actions, and desires, holding them up against these established moral standards. Consider a situation where you're tempted to cheat on a test. 
The superego, like a stern teacher, reminds you of the principles of honesty and integrity that you've internalized from your upbringing and culture. It generates guilt and anxiety when you contemplate dishonesty, often making it difficult to act against your moral principles. Understanding superego's influence can help us comprehend the sense of guilt or shame we experience when we deviate from our moral values. It's the part of our psyche that encourages us to make choices aligned with societal norms, even when the id urges otherwise. Freud believed that the ego operates as a referee between the demands of the id and the superego. This constant internal struggle defines much of our daily decision-making and moral choices. Recognizing this inner conflict can help us make more conscious decisions and gain insight into our ethical dilemmas. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of the human psyche, you may find yourself reflecting on your own experiences and actions. The id, ego, and superego are not isolated entities. They interact in a constant dance, shaping who we are and how we navigate the world. Let's consider a practical scenario where these components come into play. Your career ambition versus your family values. Your IED may drive your ambition for career success without thinking of anything else. It's the part of you that craves recognition, financial stability, and professional accomplishments. It urges you to pursue career goals with vigor and enthusiasm. The ego helps you strike a balance between your career aspirations and your family values. It enables you to make realistic plans, manage your time effectively, and ensure that your career pursuits align with your personal and family responsibilities. The superego reminds you of the importance of family values and ethical considerations. It guides you to maintain a healthy work-life balance and avoid any actions that could harm your family relationships or compromise your moral principles. Dominancy of either of the forces can lead to extremism. Let's see what will happen if one of these components becomes dominant. If your ID dominates in this scenario, you may become excessively focused on your career, potentially neglecting your family and ethical responsibilities. This can lead to strained relationships, feelings of guilt, and isolation. An overly dominant superego may lead to excessive self-sacrifice for family values, to the detriment of your career aspirations. This can result in missed opportunities, unfulfilled ambitions, and feelings of regret or resentment. If your ego struggles to mediate between the ID and superego, you may experience ongoing conflict and stress. Balancing career and family become challenging, leading to anxiety and feelings of being torn between competing demands. Recognizing the role of each component and striving for a balanced approach is essential in making informed decisions in any scenario. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through Freud's theory of the id, ego, and superego. If you found this exploration thought-provoking and insightful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more engaging content on psychology and the human mind. We value your opinions and experiences, so please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Until next time, stay curious, keep exploring, and never stop unlocking the secrets of your own mind.